So welcome to the town hall for the end of the year of 2021, technically the first of 2022, even though we're going to be talking about 2021. So we've had a pretty impressive year. We've managed to get so much done, set so many new standards, and kind of just push SKL um, to the next level. And I'm kind of going to just do a roll up of the year um, up to up to this point. So beginning in January, we were looking at some major restructuring. We came up, we had some bright young leaders get pushed to the forefront. We had some great ideas for leadership training. We had people laying the groundwork um, to move us forward. Following that, we came up with the, well, the academy system. And that was um, a brainchild of Tayashi and Avakadu, who put in the backbone to really establish this way of training that we have for folks as it is now. And I just get distracted, sorry. The um well part of the matter is it's who we are now. There's so much work that has been put into this year from the academy system to all the events to everything. And we have such a great community that we didn't miss any beats. Throughout, through all of it, it's, we, we've just carried the torch. When Tayashi handed over the academy over to, um, to Prozan, um, for him to operate, uh, to, you know, while Tayashi took a much-deserved break, right, we didn't miss a beat. We carried on and kept going forward. Meanwhile, the whole time we had Orby running some crazy and amazing events. And at the same time, we had uh, one of the most impressive and amazing outfit wars that we, we had for three seasons because of Calamity and Rage. And then Clutch Snack coming out of it and just giving us some solid wins. So the beginning of the year really started extremely, extremely well. And we didn't lose momentum. We kept up with the demand for new players coming in. We were making headway with the community overall. We got closer with 2RAF. We got closer with WSC. You know, we started getting onto the Emerald Community Discord and having a deeper connection with the community writ large. And we really got to see the result of that. Anytime we were doing an event, the community came out in force. Sometimes to support, sometimes to oppose, but the community came out. And it's just been absolutely amazing to see what all of you were able to achieve this year uh, at all rank levels. The, with Osher coming out, we have a very, very bright future. You know, uh, we see things like the Extra Life event and just the, the the turnout that we had for that, and it's during probably one of the most low excitement periods we've had because we were in between outfit wars, there was no new information, and yet the community came out in just a massive force. <laughs> I am proud of all of you. That was fantastic. The... And it just gets me extremely, extremely excited to hear what, what we've got going on going into the future because we're about to roll out more academies. We've got more leaders coming out. We've got more people pumping through the system. The community is getting closer than ever, and we're bringing a lot of it to the forefront ourselves. And it's because of all of you that we were able to do this. Everybody is keeping level heads. Everybody is pushing forward as a team. If there's any conflicts or issues, people work through it. 
and find a way to get around it and work and make SKL go forward into the forefront. And for that, I am eternally grateful because that tells me that the work that all of you and all, and everybody here put into it isn't for nothing. We're building a community for the next year and the year plus after that. And where we go is completely up to all of you as we keep pushing together. And to see the things that we have going on when the community overall is kind of going through a period of a little bit of dis disenfranchisement from some of the negative press that came out of some events and things like that, and we just knock it out of the park. Uh, it, it's just exciting to know that we can still pull it out, pull it out of a hat and make things great. And now that we've got a new content coming, we're going to get a whole shot of life. There's going to be the amount of people coming back to the game for the new continent is going to probably be better than the escalation patch. And so there's a whole much, there's, yeah, and that's actually a school bus full of kids. That's a kind of funny hitter. <laughs> anyway, that totally distracted me. But we're going to have a whole ton of people coming for this next phase of this game. And it just, it's amazing. It's amazing the community that we have. We are, you know, the, the number of people we have in this room alone is 72 people, which is more than a whole bunch of the, the mid-fits can pull out in a night. Like, this is a Platoon Plus on a Sunday after New Year's. So, you know, I can't be more proud of all of you when it comes to just what you all pull out. And it gets me super excited to see what we have coming in the future. I am going to talk a little bit about um, some of the expectations that I had at the beginning of last year and kind of what I want to roll into this year. So when I, when I took over at the beginning of last year is to one of the leadership positions, I had three main things that I really wanted to focus on. Um, and two of those really fell into the court of all of you. And one of those was the training system in the academy after Tayashi gave it a formal name. And the other one was increasing our player base uh, activity by roughly 5%. And we easily knocked those out of the park. The academy is in a, system, a state of stability that I honestly can't believe that we achieved. You know, it takes lots of work. It takes constant effort. But, you know, we're constantly throwing coal into the fire and we just keep pumping out good people. And at the same time, this, these initiatives drove the player base to increase from our community by a massive margin. We have more leadership than we've ever had, a more active platoon leaders, and I, it's just insane. I, I can't believe that you know, we achieved that benchmark and blew beyond. The part that I was working on and the part that I'm still working on are the things that you always ask me more about, and that's the merchandise um, specifically, and then I'm attaching the website to it. Um, and largely, folks, it's, it comes down to time and money. Um, there's a few, there's a certain standard I want to have when we roll these things out. I really wanted to achieve, try to achieve it before Christmas time. I just simply couldn't get to that phase. Uh, I knew in August that there was just no way I could achieve it um, and have it roll out the way I wanted to roll out. So it's basically something that I'm going to keep pressing on uh, eventually with the intent of rolling it out as soon as it's, well, reasonable. As soon as I can get it to the quality that I want as I stare at a bear's ass. Okay, interesting. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to switch channels here. I can't see it. I can't stare at this anymore. But the amazing part is we're going into a new year with the highest amount of momentum we've ever had. Um, and in a little bit here, you're going to hear a lot more about the glowing initiatives that we've got coming up, um, among other things. But what I want to say is as we go into this new season, this new year, that the expectations uh, are only going to get higher because I, I see the potential that we have. We've got a lot of hardworking people, a lot of people passionate for this community. And we tried to push out with New World. We really did. Unfortunately, that was a turd. 
and that was the game. We had a lot of effort that went into that. And I think as we move on to this new season, it can't hurt for us to look for other opportunities of growth because we clearly have the people that can easily push us forward. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll be looking for other games, something new, something fresh, right? Something that's probably not supported by Jeff Bezos, but that's just me. Anyway, <laughs> as we look, as we go into this next year, I really hope everybody keeps the same momentum as we had now. Oh no, <laughs> that gif. This is brutal. It's hard for me to not look at the screen and talk at the same time. It's killing me. But so what I want to get to is the uh, the new year. What can we expect? Well, you can expect a lot of new, um, well, new academies rolling out, new opportunities for growth within our community. And we're also going to start seeing some more new events. There's going to be a, a surge of life coming back into this game overall. And we're going to have a lot of people with good ideas. We're going to see some half-baked ideas, but we're going to see a lot of effort being put in by folks. And I urge everybody to jump on that bandwagon, to support and to build this up as much as absolutely possible. Um, because if we can go as far as we did in, well, a kind of a midway year, then I can't imagine what we can achieve when we get some new content, some genuine new content, and a push forward. So the expectation for me is high, and the excitement is high. But I know that all of you will deliver. I know all of you are going to put the time in, be excited, come up with some of the crazy and innovative ideas that we have seen in the last year. And I just, I can't wait. I simply cannot wait. But I can't predict the future, right? It only takes effort and work for that future to become developed. And that's boiled down to all of you.